you saw that right that's the real time that i wake up i just got up this is how my hair really looks welcome to my slow morning so now that i'm awake i am going to come and make my morning coffee and that's what i do every single morning in this order. I get up, I come in the kitchen, and I start making my coffee. Yeah, that's not the real time. And I think my coffee maker is somewhat broken because I gotta press that button a million times before it starts working. So now that my coffee is brewing, normally what I'll do is I'll come over here to my computer desk and take a seat and start checking my YouTube comments actually and get back to all of my emails and stuff like that. So a lot of people might think that that's not like a slow living thing, but that's kind of just normal for me and I do that almost every day. The only thing I might do sometimes if I don't feel like doing that right when I wake up is I'll just head out there to the balcony and have a cup of coffee. But today I think I will stick with my normal routine to show you guys what it's really like. And um, usually on my second cup of coffee, then I'll sit out on the balcony and just enjoy a little bit of fresh air while I'm catching up on waking up. <laughs> Now I got my first cup, guys. So I'm gonna take a seat at the desk and get to work. Oh yeah, and by the way, to those of you who don't really know or don't know me or new to my channel, this is my breakfast, okay? I don't eat actual breakfast. I just have black coffee for breakfast. I know that's not what we were grown up and told to do, but I'm a pretty unconventional guy and I follow something called intermittent fasting. So. I don't eat anything for like the first four hours I wake up. So I got up at 11. I won't eat anything till like three or four o'clock. That'll be when I actually eat my first meal of the day. So that will put me at like a 14, 15 hour fast roughly. And I do that every single day. And the reason why I do this first thing in the morning guys is cause I like waking up and answering your comments. Like it's fun for me to, uh, you know, wake up and see what's happening on the channel because since I'm trying to do this for a living and I enjoy it a lot, I like interacting with you guys too and I just am always curious to see what everybody's saying about different videos and trying to learn as much as I can to be better and better at this. <laughs> That's a funny one. Comments like this one I don't answer. I don't think you guys can probably see what all this says, but sometimes people like say something to somebody else and I let them just hash it out when it's something that I don't really feel like jumping in on. This person's always saying nice things about my videos. Gladys Griffin, I always like reading your comments. Now, I don't know why YouTube does this, but like there's replies here. I can see all this in the back end in my studio but it's just more complicated. So now how I answer comments is I just get to all of the bell notifications first, and then that automatically gets rid of the comments in the back end, which you'll see in a minute. All right, so I hit all the bell notifications. I try to resist clicking on any of the videos on the home page. I try to just ignore that because if I do that, then I'll be watching YouTube for 30, 45 minutes instead of working. It's kind of tough to do that, especially if they put something good on my home page but today I'm going to have some resistance. Here in the comments section in the back end, they'll have comments that didn't show up in that bell notification every single time. But today I don't actually have that many comments to answer, so it's not that big of a deal. So since I'm done answering the comments, I will go ahead and just take a glance at my analytics and I'm happy to be making this today because I got a surprise for you guys. Uh, today is Monday, December 7th, and I'm going to be debuting a video, which you have would have already seen by the time you see this one, 
with my wife Lizzie in it. And it's like a Q&A style video and I'm really excited to put it out. I'm gonna put it out soon actually. I usually like to publish my videos around noon. That seems to be like a good time for me. So in about a half an hour, I'll be publishing that video. And I guess I'll take you guys on the journey with that and see how it goes. So I can see yesterday I had a pretty good day. Monday's usually always off to a pretty slow start. After you start doing YouTube for a while, I feel like there's some regularity in your analytics. You start seeing patterns that are noticeable over time. So I just take a glance at it. I don't do a deep dive in the morning. I usually do that at nighttime when I'm sitting on the couch and looking for a certain thing, like how is my click-through rate doing or how a certain video is doing or whatever. So I saw that, so I'm gonna jump into my emails. And mostly all this email stuff is just deleting stuff. You know how that goes, I'm sure. But there is some stuff that's here valuable here and there, so you have to go kind of slowly deleting it and make sure there's not something you're important that I'm missing. But I have all my emails separated. I have several different email accounts and um, basically I go through all the stuff that's not work first. So that way I don't overwhelm myself because I don't want to feel overwhelmed. And I know you shouldn't be doing this like checking emails and stuff in the morning. I've read books and heard, you know, really smart meditation kind of people say that you should wake up and just do meditation in the morning and take it easy. But you know what? Like I've just had this routine for so long and some days I just sit out on the balcony and drink coffee like I said, but I kind of like getting this done out of the way first and it gives me a little bit of a sense of relief. And the thing that's important for me is what I do afterwards because usually once I get all this done, I'll have my coffee done and then I'll start getting ready to go to the gym if it's a day I'm gonna work out, so that'll break the cycle. I almost forgot to share with you guys that um, the other thing I do now is I also check the stats on my second YouTube channel, which in case you don't know, I have a second YouTube called, I have a second YouTube channel called Grow on YouTube. The reason why I started this channel is because of two things. One, I really love growing on YouTube. Like I like the process of growing a YouTube channel. I find it extremely fascinating and I can talk someone's ear off all day about this because I'm really excited about it. And so I have a lot of video ideas and things that I'm gonna be making on this channel. And I've already made a handful of videos here. But the other reason um, I wanted to share this with you is because I get more excited about looking at the analytics on this channel than my main channel. Cause I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me just bring you over here so you can see. My views are spiking quite a bit on different videos that I'm making. And the results on this channel have been very interesting and fascinating so far. And I honestly think that this channel will probably outpace my main channel that you're watching right now because this channel is laser focused. It's about growing a YouTube channel. And those are the only kind of videos I make on this channel. And so since I'm very targeted at who my audience is for, um, I think that this, this channel is going to grow quite a bit larger than my main channel eventually. I don't know when, but the type of results I'm seeing right now on these videos, I've never seen on my main channel, especially when the channel was this new. So that's why I get so excited about this new channel. So I finished my first cup of coffee and now, usually after that, and I got my emails and my YouTube stuff done, I'm going to just come in the bathroom and put my contacts in because as you can see, I'm wearing glasses and I actually hate wearing glasses. I love wearing contacts, but they get irritating as the day goes on. So I wear glasses in the morning when I first wake up and then later at night after I take a shower, I don't put my contacts back in. I just uh, leave my glasses on for the rest of the night just for watching TV or being on the computer. Gives your eyes a chance to breathe and it's nice to switch it up. But I can tell you one thing, I've been wearing contacts since I was about 10, 11 years old and I can just see better with contacts. I don't know if any of you guys out there wear contacts, but I think contacts are so much better than glasses. It's just non-obtrusive, it's nothing on your face. It gets irritating having this there all day. And you know, when you have, you have like blind spots, when you're looking around like this, you can't see down below or up above, you know, with glasses. When you're wearing contacts, you can see anywhere you look and it's much sharper and I just enjoy that so much better. So I'm gonna put them in now.
it's funny because some people are like terrified of putting contacts in, right? They're like, I can't touch my eye. But I learned how to do this when I was a little kid and I actually really wanted to do it. Even the eye doctor said, well, if he's responsible enough to do it and you know, he can actually stomach touching his eye like that, then sure, why not? I'll prescribe him contacts at that age because I hated wearing glasses. I hated wearing them to the point where I actually wouldn't wear my glasses and I couldn't see anymore. My vision started going bad pretty early as a kid. So I was prescribed glasses ever since I was like six or seven years old. I got my, my contacts in. Next, I'll come over here and make the bed because that's usually my job. Me and Lizzie do a pretty good job of like switching out chores in the house. So she does most of the cleaning, but I take care of all the cooking. And also I take care of like straightening up the bed and just little things. Like after you've been living together for this long, you just kind of get used to who knows what. Guys, check out how beautiful of a day is it is today. The ocean is super nice. It was supposed to be raining today. You cannot trust the Florida weather forecast at all, I swear to God. Time for a cup of coffee number two. And I used to drink more coffee than this in the morning, so now I limit myself to just two cups, and I don't even make more than that, so that way I can't drink more, because otherwise I just get too wired and feel just too jittery and that's not good and I know too much caffeine is not healthy for you but I think two cups is okay and I'm not the kind of person that drinks coffee throughout the day either I just have these two cups in the morning and that's it so now it's the moment of truth guys I am going to be launching my new video right now and I always get everything set up the day before so I already have the video uploaded and all of that so I'm going to be putting it live right at this moment with you. And I try not to get myself too pumped up or too excited or have too much expectations at this point, especially now I have 160 videos on my channel and you just never know which ones are gonna do good. And as much as I hope this one does good, you just never know. So it's really up to you guys, the audience, if it does good and also to YouTube, if they think you're gonna be interested in it if they're going to push it out or not. So let's see, I'm excited to see. And it's live. So the video's live and usually I'm sitting at the computer while the video's going live, but today I'm gonna sit on the balcony for a little bit and just get some of this sun because this might be my only chance to get some of this sun today. It is a beautiful day. I may have to go to the beach for a little while. But you look at this. This is why I don't go to the beach sometimes. You see, it's beautiful out there now, but all those clouds over there, they're coming this way. So a lot of times what happens is you'll get ready for the beach, you'll get down there, and then boom, nothing but clouds. And it makes a big difference, especially when the water starts getting colder like that. So it's not really my thing to go to the beach when it's not so nice. I like when it's really sunny and you know just a beautiful day to get in the water i might go down there for an hour or two if i have time but i have an appointment today to go to the apple store and i need to also shoot a different video for my other channel before that i'm just gonna sit out here and enjoy my second cup of coffee for a little while it feels beautiful it's like in the mid 70s right now although it feels warmer than that on the balcony i probably have to take my shirt off and get a little tan out here for a little bit so some of you guys might be saying like, well, that doesn't seem like a very slow living morning routine. And others, others of you might think I'm lazy because I don't do a lot in the morning. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's different, right? So I look at it like this. I'm the kind of person like I kind of like to take my time getting to things early in the day. And if that means I get a little less done, I don't really care because I don't like to just get up and run out the door and do stuff like my wife she can do that she is very good at just like waking up and going to pick up a dog or walk a dog or get to the gym and she's like boom 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 and just get stuff done me i'm kind of the opposite you know i gotta wake up slowly like that drink my coffee and just relax a little bit i get a few things done like you've seen but only after the coffee routine is done that's when i sort of really start ramping things up 
and I know this video is supposed to be a morning routine and a lot of you might be making fun of me too because I don't get up to like 11 o'clock and that's normal so I'm just being real with you guys I don't feel bad about it I've been doing this for years that's one of the benefits of being self-employed and working for yourself like that I don't have a schedule that I have to get up for every day and that's pretty much my schedule. I'm up anywhere between 10.30 and sometimes I sleep till noon. And today I was up around 11, which is pretty common for me. And uh, I'm happy with that because I don't go to bed till two or three in the morning. So when you do the math, I'm still getting only eight or nine hours of sleep, which is normal for me and the right amount for me. Now this is some proof that sometimes I'm actually up early because it's eight o'clock and I'm standing out here on the balcony. You can see the sunrise behind me. It's kind of rare. I usually don't get up this early, but sometimes I can't sleep. I got something going through my mind and I have to wake up. And on days like that, I get up early. So now that you guys have seen my late morning and early afternoon slow routine, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing my slow night routine because really the only time I move fast is in the middle of the day because I move slow in the morning and then once nighttime comes, I start slowing down then too. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that and I'm gonna finish up this cup of coffee and call my brother back and uh, have a chat with him and I'll see you guys in the next video.